Hey, what is going on guys? It's Young here and today I'm back in our Fortnite video and today's video I'm gonna share with you guys the best settings to use as of now with Fortnite season 5 just releasing I want to share with you guys the settings that I have and all the changes that you guys should make to your settings That's gonna help you become a much better player Overall in this season when it comes to building aiming and everything in between So if you guys are looking for some great settings definitely stay tuned to the video because these settings will help you guys out Tremendously and real quick before I get into the video. I have a V buck giveaway I give away 2,000 V bucks every single Friday So if you guys would like to participate in the next giveaway and win some free V bucks All you guys have to do is to drop a like on this video Make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so you guys get notified for every single Single new upload and what I announce the winners every Friday and lastly make sure you guys put down your Xbox gamer tag your PSN gamer tag or epic account down in the comment section below and you guys will be automatically entered into the giveaway and lastly if you guys like to support me in the item shop all you guys have to do go down to the bottom right hit on supporter creator type in my creator code which is young humor and you guys will have me added and supported as a creator in the item shop and all right guys let's go right to the video Alright, so in this video, I want to share with you guys the best settings to use here in Fortnite Season 5 that is going to help you win a lot more gunfights, aim better, and also build much quicker. So when it comes to the settings, there is a couple of things that I want to mention specifically that I noticed being my first day playing in Season 5, some of the changes that they made, and how you should adjust accordingly with your sensitivity. So the settings that I have here, I have a 47% with a 44% for my vertical, my building's on a 2.0, and my editing is a 2.2. So these are just the first couple of settings that I have. And one of the big things that you guys obviously know as of this season, they removed the pump shotgun, which they're going to add it back probably next season. They've got, I think last like two seasons, it's been off and on where they didn't have, where they had the pump, and then they added the charge shotgun, and then they added the pump back. And then they removed it. So they're kind of all over the place with the pump shotgun. It'll probably end up coming back next season that's kind of the trend that they're having so with that out of the game it really makes a huge difference on your playstyle because now you have either the charge shotgun or the tack which most of the people that i've gone against in at least pubs i haven't played too much arena but most people are going to be using tactical shotguns there was the handful of people with the charge shotguns but just about everyone is rocking tack shotguns so that's going to be the majority of people are going to be going against and that's going to be the loot that you have so with that in mind, what's really important to take away is with the attack shotgun, you have to be really close to the other person to be able to hit lots of damages. I was hitting so many 24, 25 damage shots on other players during stream, and it was kind of frustrating. And the solution to that is you just have to either ADS, aim down your sights, or you have to be closer to the other player. So that is something that you have to keep in mind. So when you're adjusting your settings, you want to have a settings that's very good for W King, settings that's good for rushing and being point blank, meaning that you want to have a great sensitivity for editing because if you want to get close to the other player, you're going to be able to do so through peace control and also editing. So, like I said, just to reiterate, the TAC shotgun is going to be your go-to shotgun for the most part, meaning that if you want to hit a lot of damage, you're going to have to be point blank, and if you want to be point blank, you're going to have to have a sensitivity that's great for you when it comes to rushing, W king, and just being overall extremely dominant in those box fight type situations. That's how you're going to be able to perform and play really great this season. So, you really want to focus on improving your shotgun accuracy. And also at the same time, improving your editing speed because you want to get as close as you can to the other player. And the easiest way to do that is going to be by editing quickly because that's how you catch a lot of players off guard and get those shots that you want. So you're going to have to improve your editing speed and you want to find a sensitivity that works best for you. The sensitivity that I have is great for me, but of course you might want to make a small adjustment either to raise it or lower it, just depending on your preferences. And the next thing that I really wanted to mention that I'm going to be going into next is your aim down sight sensitivity. Now this is important as well because as I mentioned, the tack shotgun is going to be your go-to and... Unfortunately, when it comes to the tack shotgun, if you want to hit more pellets, you're going to have to aim down your sights. You don't want to aim down your sights every single time, but if you're anywhere further than like two feet from the other player, you probably want to aim down your sights so you can hit higher damage shots, but just more quality shots. And so you want to play on an aim down sight sensitivity that's relatively 
in the middle to higher ranges. I'm on a 14%, but I would recommend anything from a 13% to a 16% because you're gonna have to play on a little bit higher of an ADS sensitivity if you wanna be able to track players quickly with shotguns at close ranges. Because if you're on a really low aim down sight sensitivity, you're just not gonna be able to catch up with the other player quickly jumping across your screen. And then I also do have look dampening time on, which is on a 0 0.07. I think that's really great for uh, flick shots and just making those small adjustments when you're trying to just slightly move over your crosshair and it just gives me more control over my joysticks. So I really like that setting. It's just a preference. Some of you guys like, some of you guys don't. But the main thing is you want to have a aim down sight sensitivity that works best for shotguns just because if you want to hit higher damage shots, which is a common problem because I was hitting straight 20s on stream. You have to aim down your sights if you want to hit for higher damages. And when you're doing that, if you're on a too low of an aim down sight sensitivity, you're not going to be able to keep up with the other player when they jump across your screen or they jump in your box. So playing on a 13 to 16% is going to be the way to go for this season specifically. Because as I said, I want to give you some settings that you guys can use for this season and also some takeaways as well because some of you guys might be okay with a little bit lower sensitivity and some of you guys might want to go higher but the main thing is just taking the key points away like you want to have a great editing speed you also want to make sure you can aim down sights with your shotgun and not have any issues with tracking and at the same time you want to be able to be a lot quicker in box fights and close ranges because i feel like the meta is going to get even more close range just based on the pump shotgun not being in the game as of currently and then my dead zones we're on 13% and 10%, I believe, or 11. Doesn't really matter. Your dead zones really just depend on your specific control. And if you have a lot of stick drift, then you have to raise your dead zones. And if you don't, then you want to lower it. The lower the dead zones, the better, because that's how responsive your controller is going to be. So if you're on a really low dead zone, you're going to have more control over your crosshair and your analog stick, which is going to help you aim better build better, edit better, and really just your overall movement is going to be a lot more crisp and clean. So if you're able to play on low dead zones, you definitely want to. It's going to make a huge difference on just the overall feel, just how quick you are, and just the total control you have over your analog sticks. So those are going to be all the sensitivities that I have and that I would recommend for you guys to try out as of this season currently here in season five. Hopefully you guys got some value out of this video. The main takeaways being the pump shotgun is no longer in the game. And, you know, as you can just see in this gunfight right here, I mean, the tack shotgun, I mean, the last two shots hit for something decent, but it took me like four or five shots just to kill the other player with my tack shotgun. So you have to be very close to them if you want to deal significant damage. So in order to do that, you're going to have to be on a sensitivity that's going to be a little bit more on the quick side. So you can be able to maneuver around boxes quicker. So you're even able to get your shot off. And when you do, you're going to be hitting for a decent amount of damage. And then also you want to have an aim down sight sensitivity that allows you to aim down your sights. Because as, as you can see here, if I were to hit fire both of those shots, I probably would have hit straight 10 or 20 damage shots. But I was able to hit a decent amount, at least on that first shot, uh, just solely based because I aimed down my sights. So you want to find the right sensitivity that works for you, that allows you to aim down sights and just be efficient with your attack shotgun in game. But if you're the player who uses the charge shotgun, maybe it could be a little bit different, but majority of gunfights, even if you see in this gameplay, pretty much almost everybody I'm going against is using the attack shotgun. So I assume you guys are as well. But like I said, that's wrap it up for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you found this video helpful and of value, make sure you guys do drop a like. Make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I do live stream every single day here on this channel at 4.30 Eastern Standard Time. So if you guys haven't came by my live streams, make sure you guys do so. I play solos every single day on stream. It's a ton of fun. Make sure you guys come by the stream. You guys don't want to miss out. Like I said, 4.30 Eastern Standard Time every single day. And as well, if you guys haven't followed me on Instagram, make sure you guys do so. I'm going to be posting really often and a lot more frequently on there. As of maybe a week or so, I've started uploading a couple things. Or not uploading, I started posting a couple extra photos on there. So you guys don't want to miss out if you guys haven't followed me on Instagram. It's just Young Humor. You're going to find it really easy. I think I have like 92,000 on Instagram or something like that. Definitely follow me. I'm going to be really active on there coming uh, shortly. But with that being said, I appreciate you guys watching the stream. And all right, guys. I'll see you next video.